Hey, we have all heard that famous proverb, right? Like, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But have you ever wondered if it can also keep the dermatologist away? So, if you are looking for a way to give your skin a boost, you may want to consider using malic acid. But, you know, like, what it is and does it really work? Well, in today's video, we are taking a closer look at the science behind malic acid to see if it lives up to the hype and whether you should start including it in your skincare routine. Hi, I'm Elaine Mertens from Beauty by Code and I am here to help you find the code behind your skin. So welcome to my channel. Okay, are you a fan of slightly acidic uh, wine? You know, those tart, zesty, fruity flavors? You know, like just the thought could make your mouth water. Well, you can thank malic acid in part for that. Glycolic acid and lactic acid appear on skincare packages all over the place, but we don't hear about malic acid too often. Now, the word malic might you know, throw up some sinister connotations at first, but it comes from the Latin word malum, meaning apple, and malic acid is the critical ingredient in some foods and drinks that give them their, um, you know, like tangy taste. Our bodies also produce malic acid when converting carbs into energy. So you know. Malic acid sometimes is referred to as apple acid and it was first isolated from apple juice, but this acid is not just found in apples. It's in many different fruits, such as apricots, blackberries, blueberries, what else? Cherries, grapes, I mean, and the list goes on and on. In skincare, malic acid belongs to the group of alpha-hydroxy acids, or AHAs, just, you know, like one big family of fruit acids. Malic acid is an ingredient used in a wide variety of skin and hair products, from shampoos to body lotions to nail treatments and, unsurprisingly, in um, acne treatments and anti-aging products. You know, but after all, right, like AHAs, they are uh, renowned for their incredible uh, effects on acne in helping you turn back your skin's clock. This is because all AHAs work the same way. They exfoliate by dissolving the bonds between cells on the skin's surface. Alpha-hydroxy acids help you remove all dead cells and improve dull or dry patches of skin. And as a result of this process, well, you will get brand new, healthier, beautiful skin that can grow back and you are going to have a, like a brightened complexion and an even skin tone. Your skin is going to be smooth and really soft. But hey, you know, like what about malic acid sets it apart from the other AHAs? Well, because it's derived from apples, vegans rejoice. Malic acid is entirely plant-based. And malic acid is also very, very gentle. For those who shun this acid as being ineffective, that's not true. I mean, it may not work as intensely as more potent AHAs, but just because it doesn't have as much potential for um, irritating your skin doesn't mean that it doesn't work. Um, it's also, malic acid is also a uh, humectant. So it will help your skin keep the hydration because it attracts moisture uh, before trapping it in your skin. Also, malic acid has larger big molecules, right? Like if you compare to other AHAs like lactic or glycolic acid. So it doesn't penetrate the skin as intensely. So this, I will say, hydrate, hydrating capability coupled with this larger molecule size gives malic acid its soft nature. So it's uh, gentle, but it's not ineffective by any means. As anyone who's ever had a bad reaction to citrus knows, uh, acidity can be tough on the skin. That's why it's essential to understand pH role in keeping your skin healthy. Listen, pH basically measures how acidic or basic something is, that's it. 
and your healthy skin typically has a pH between 4.5 to 5.5. This is uh, slightly in the acidic uh, environment, right, to protect your skin from bacteria. However, when the pH gets too low, it can cause dryness, irritation, and even inflammation. And that's where malic acid comes in, as it can actually help you keep your skin pH in check. In addition to keeping your skin's pH balanced, malic acid also helps you protect your acid mantle. It's this thin layer that, um, of oil that helps your skin, um, you know, that keeps your skin hydrated and protected from environmental aggressors like UV rays and pollution that can cause uh, damage on a cellular level. Malic acid may be gentle, but it's touted as doing wonders for brightening the complexion by getting rid of those old dead cells that leave your skin dull because it promotes cell turnover, just like its AHA family members, right? All the other AHA uh, acids. Listen, malic acid is an excellent choice for a gentle anti-aging product, as malic acid thickens the skin and increases the production of glycosaminoglycans, which play an integral part in the anti-aging process. It can stimulate collagen production at a higher concentrations to support the skin's strength and um, flexibility, so it will help you prevent uh, the sagging of your skin. It would also boost ceramide production. It will inhibit melanin production. So it will help you reduce your dark spots. Malic acid can also help if you are looking to fade discoloration, right? In your face, because it will lighten the appearance um, of your skin. It can help you also with scars and um, it will give you an overall more radiant skin. It helps, of course, uh, unclog your pores, which means that it's suitable for acne prone uh, uh, skin types. I would say that use it if you have like a mild acne. If you have freckles, it's a good option for you. And um, you know, if you have very sensitive skin, I think that uh, malic acid is a great alternative for you, especially if you have tried other products and you are not very happy. Beauty Counter, uh, Counter Plus Overnight Resurfacing Peel is a leave-on AHA, BHA peel. So um, give it a try. I think that you will like it. Of course, you know, like there are a ton of skin acids out there. So if you are interested in finding out which skin acid out, you know, of the many out there is the best for your skin, click the link in the description box. There is a quiz for you. Now, if you want to try out uh, malic acid, you can use it, I would say, once or twice daily, depending on its uh, combined ingredients, right? Like, depending on what we're using. You can use it with other AHAs or BHAs at lower doses to, you know, experience the, the synergetic F effects of both. And um, you can use it, of course, with glycerin and uh, hyaluronic acid. You can also try pairing it with vitamin C to increase its brightening effect. Just be careful when using it with other acids or aggressive ingredients like retinoids. You don't want to overwork or compromise your skin. So you can do it, but do it slowly and see how your skin reacts. Apply malic acid, I would say that is better in the evening after cleansing and toning just, you know, with a cotton pad and use your fingers and then moisturize or do whatever it is that you do in your nighttime uh, skincare routine. Of course, with acid, you have to avoid the eye area and make sure that you follow up with a high SPF sunscreen, especially if you are using it in the morning. Although, you know, it's less likely to be irritating than other acids, you still need to take care when introducing malic acid into your skincare routine. It's still an acid, after all. In general, AHAs and other exfoliants make your skin more sensitive to the sun's UV rays, and malic acid is no different. Of course, it can also cause peeling, dryness, redness, swelling, and itching, mainly when you are using like higher concentrations, for I would say like an extended period. So as always, you know, like introduce it slowly in your routine. And again, I mean like just see how you are uh, 
how your skin is reacting. If you are new to the product, like if you have never used any acid, maybe do a patch test, wait for 24 hours and see what happens the day after. Again, if you're looking for a fast result, you may want to consider combining malic acid with other AHAs. Many products contain malic acid as an added ingredient with another acid. But if your skin is like super sensitive, let me tell you, then I will think that malic acid alone is, the, is, is better for you. Oh my God. I hope you, did you get that? Too sensitive? Use it alone. Normal to combination oil, you can mix it up. Listen, this powerful little acid is truly a multifunctional ingredient. So now what? Take the quiz and listen, thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate you very much and that's it. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.